Logat team. Here we have the properties of Logat, Logarit. Properties of Logarit. Here we have a log A times B is equal to log A plus logarithm of B. And logarithm of A over B is equal to logarithm of A minus logarithm of, of B. Logarithm of A power N Logarithm of A power N is equal to N logarithm of A. A. This is exponent, exponential log logarithm. So this is a properties that you consider in order to solve the question relating to log logarithm. So here, let's take one an example. Example. Example of logarithm of x squared minus logarithm of log 4x minus 1 minus 2 log 2. This is one example of log logarithm. Are you following the students? Just you have to look here. This is the example of log logarithm. Let's try to solve this step by step. Step by step of x squared minus 1 equal to log of 4 x minus 1. Remember the properties of logarithm where we have minus sign or negative sign. We use division here, means that first you have before we have to remove this. Constant number as expo exponent minus minus log two square squared. Here we get log of x squared minus one equal to log of four x minus one over because of properties of negative. Negative sign of we, have, we get two power power two. Here we get log of x square minus one equal to equal to log log of four x minus one over two power two. 2 power 2 is equal to, to 4. We have a logarithm of x squared minus 1 equal to logarithm of 4 x minus 1 over over 4. And also, here we have this logarithm and this logarithm can be simplified or can be removed because of equal, equal sign. So here we remain, so here we remain x squared minus 1 equal to 4 x minus 1 minus 1 over over 4 over over 4 over 4 and here we make a new equation remember that here we have a fraction we put here in like one also we need to use cross multiplication cross multiplication cross multiplication of here here we get 4 times x squared minus 1 equal to 4 x minus e minus 1 because we take a 4 times this function and 1 my, uh, times e, uh, this function of 4 x minus 1 minus 1 just okay this here we have a 4 times this function here we get 4 here we get a 4 x squared minus 4 times 1 4 equal to 4 x minus 1 minus 1 here we, we get this function and also we need to form a quadratic equation quadratic equation on the quadratic graph we get it to, uh, we need to form a quadratic equation here we get 4 x squared here we have to remove this 4x in this side of 
left side, here we get negative 4x, negative 4, here it is a positive when we remove for this side also we get a positive 1 equal to z, 4x squared minus 4x minus 4 minus 4 plus 1 we get negative 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 3 equal to z equal to 0 so equal to z equal to 0 so so here we need to use a derivative delta remember delta is equal to b squared minus 4 a times c so delta 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 is equal to neg b is equal to neg 4 square square minus 4 times a is 4 a is 4 and c is equal to neg neg 3 here we get delta is equal to neg 4 squared is equal to 16 is equal to is equal to 16 16 16 minus 4 4 times 4 is equal to 16 times 3 is equal to 40 40 48 and here we have negative and here we have negative 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 we get a positive here we get positive 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 48 here we add the 16 plus 48 is equal to 60 64 we need to find we need to find the students we need to find x1 x1 and x x2 x1 and x x2 so x1 and x2 is equal to negative b plus or minus square root of delta over 2 times a first x1 to find is negative b plus square root of delta over 2 a to find x2 is to take is to take x neg b neg square root of delta over 2 over 2 a here Here it is neg b neg b is equal to according to this equation neg b b is neg 4 b is neg 4 is neg 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 4 plus square root of 60 64 64 over over 2 times 4 so Neg, neg 4, we get, we get 4, yes, we get 4, square root of 64 is equal to a, 8, square root of 64 is equal to a, 8, plus a, 8, over 2 times 4 is equal to a, to 8, and we have for the, the solution, 8 is equal to, 12. 4 plus 8 is equal to 12 over, over 8. When we simplify 12 and 8, we see 4. Here we get uh, 3. Here we get 2. The solution is equal to 3 over, over 2. So the first x1 is equal to 3 over, over 2. And negative 4. Neg, neg 4, negative. Because of x, x2, we use a neg negative square root of 60, 64. Over 2 times z times 4. Here we get, we get a 4. Here we get, we get a 8, negative 8 over 2 times 4 is equal to 8. Here we get 4 negative 8, 
4 negative for 8 4 negative for 8 negative for 8 we get negative negative 4 negative 4 over 8 here we get the solution is equal to the solution is equal to negative of 1 over over 2 so we have to remember that we have to remember that on a row negative 1 over over 2 so remember that remember that remember that on logarithm no any solution with the nega negative the properties of logarithm so no any solution that provide with negative negative if you found the solution with the negative number so you have to reject to reject it yes are you understand so means the solution here negative 1 over 2 you have to reject it the negative 1 over negative 1 over over 2 the solution solution, solution is equal to is equal to 3 over over 2 this is a solution a solution this is a solution a solution so I think it is very very easy to second question is 9x minus 3 times 81 power 1 minus x equal to 1 over 27 a x so you have to do this question